Hello there and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy. The show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So you make sure that you stay until the end. Also, if you don't own Luminar Neo or the HDR Merge plugin, get our discount code to get the best possible price and you can find it in the description of this video. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you the easiest way of how to enhance or add tan in Luminar Neo. Now, as you can see, I'm already in Luminar Neo and we are starting in a catalog module. We have three sample files here and if you want to download them, the easiest way is to jump into the description of the video, follow the link there, go into our Dropbox account and download them there so you can follow me along. The first image we're going to be working on is this lady, so let's just click on it to select it and then move the image into edit module by hitting E on your keyboard or clicking on edit on the top of your screen. Before we're going to continue, I want to quickly mention that this tutorial is powered by our Luminar Neo Power Bundle. For a little price, you will get over 986 new elements to power up your Luminar Neo tool. You will get extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, sky objects and LUTs. You will also get several collections of presets that will help you to create effect just like the one we're gonna create today. If you want to learn more about it, make sure you head to our website cleverphotographer.com and for the best price possible, follow the link in the description of this video. Now looking at the image, we have a model here, we have the surfboard, she's in a swimsuit and looking at her, I think it would be nice to add a little bit more tan to her skin. So of course there is lots of different complex way to do this in other applications. However, in Luminar Neo, the fastest way to do this is to use three tools. So the first one we're going to use is the color tool. For this, we need to move into our main toolbar and go into the essential section. There, there is a color tool. So let's just click on it to open it and dive into it. If you never used the color tool before, we have a full tutorial on this tool on our YouTube channel. So you're more than welcome to check it out. Now, what we're going to be working with is the HSL panel. So simply click on the HSL here and it will open up. Let's make it nice and visible. And we're going to start here. Now, when you click on a gray drop down box, you have a choice between hue, saturation and luminance. With the hue, we can adjust the hue of the colors. Now, when it comes to adjusting the skin, generally the skin have the warm colors. So we're talking about red, orange and yellow. Now, to find out which one is on this specific image, as it always depends on the lighting condition and white balance, we can just shift these sliders around and see what we have here. Now, when we adjusting the red, we adjusting this part of the hair and a little bit of her skin here and some of the swimsuit. So there's definitely some red there. Now let's play around with the orange. Let's see. Yeah, there's definitely lots of orange on the skin. So again, we can adjust it. And what about the yellow? So there is not much yellow because as you can see, when I shift it around, not much change. So we don't need to really worry too much about the yellow. So the first one, let's start with the red. Now we can choose if we want the red to be more like a magenta or more orange. So let's have a look when we go more orange. Does it add a little bit of tan to the skin? Maybe just a little bit. So let's go somewhere around 40. With the orange color, let's have a look. When we go more towards the yellow, it's becoming almost green and actually be removing some of the tan. So we don't want to do that. We want to go the other way around. So let's go the other way around. Now you need to be careful there because if you overdo it, it's going to look like she has a sunburn. So let's just stick to somewhere around maybe minus 11. After that, we can jump into the yellow and see. Let's just bring it down a little bit as well. Maybe with the orange, let's be a little more careful and we get something like this. 
So that's the first step. We have a hue. Don't forget, always double check what you're doing by clicking on the little eye icon on the top right corner of the tool to see the before and after. The change is very subtle, but don't worry, we are not done at all. After this, we're gonna change from hue into the saturation. Now with the saturation, we can add more saturation for red, orange, and yellow, or remove it. So let's see what it does. So let's start with the orange because there's most of it. If we increase it, you can see how we're getting more colors into the skin and it looks a little bit more like it's tan. So definitely somewhere around 16, 17 here. With the red, we can increase it as well. Gently, maybe just somewhere around 12. And let's go with the yellow as well and leave it somewhere around 12. Now, finally, the last step is to change the saturation into the luminance, where we're adjusting the luminance of the individual colors. And this is where we're gonna finish the initial effect. What we wanna do here, we wanna make the red, orange, and yellow a little bit darker, so we add more tan into the skin. So let's start with the red, let's bring it down a little bit. And same with the orange, let's bring it down a little bit to the point we like. And then with the yellow, same thing, and that's this part done. Once again, let's have a look at the before and after, and you can already see the difference. So this is the initial setup. You go into the color tool and you adjust the hue, saturation, and luminance for the first three colors. Depending on a subject, depending on the light, and depending on a white balance, you may need to play around with red, orange, and yellow. Once we're done here, we can close this, we can close the color tool, and we will continue. Another good way to enhance the tan on your skin or add a little bit of it is to use the develop tool. So we are still on our main toolbar. We are in the essentials tool and we're gonna open the develop tool. Here, what we wanna do, we just wanna go into the color and here increase the temperature just a little bit. Nothing crazy, this slider is very strong. So let's just go somewhere around, maybe in this case, just three. Now I know that it's adjusting the whole image, so don't worry too much about it, but let's just quickly have a look at the before and after, and you see that it helps a little bit to the skin. Of course that we could use masking here, but we will use masking in a moment, so don't worry too much about it. Just note that increasing the temperature towards the warm side is another way of how we can enhance the overall effect. So we can close this, we can close the develop tool, and we have the third tool that will help us to enhance the tan, and that will be the toning. So for this, we need to go into the creative section of our main toolbar, and somewhere in the middle, there is the toning there. So click on it to open it, and then start by increasing the amount slider to 100%. After this, you wanna select the shadows to start with, and increase the saturation here. Now, what we do now is that we adding more red at this moment in the hue into the shadows. So once again, we turning the subject into skin that looks like it's been sunburned. So we need to adjust the hue now. So we wanna shift it towards the yellow and orange until we happy with the result. Once we like the hue, we can then play around with the saturation and see how much of it we actually wanna add. So I think for me, just somewhere around maybe seven is more than enough. Once again, always make sure that you double check the before and after, and it's a good start. After this, we can go into the highlights. So just switch from shadows into the highlights and do the same, increase the saturation and then play around with the hue until you like the hue and until you like the color of the skin. So for me, again, somewhere around 14, 15 is good. And then I just bring the saturation down. So again, let's have a look at the before and after. So I think it's really cool. You can see now when we have a look at the before and after on the image, how we have enhanced the skin and added more tan to it. Now, once we have this done, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna save it as a preset so we can use it on a future photos. For this, all we need to do is to go to the bottom of our screen, click on actions, and here click on save as preset. That will bring us into the presets module, and it will open my preset section on our toolbar. Here we can adjust the name of the preset and let's just call it Tan Skin. Once we're happy, just hit enter and that's that. Now let's test the preset on another image. So we're gonna go back to our catalog module and we're gonna select another image. So let's select this lady right here, move it into the presets module 
and in the presets module let's click on a tan skin. It takes a moment and you can already see the difference. Once again let's have a look at the before and after and on this picture it works even better. I really really like the result. Just like I told you before, if you want to adjust it, you can jump back into the edit module, head into the edit tab, and here adjust any of the adjustments we have made earlier. And a final thing I wanted to show you is how to use this effect together with masking. So let's go into the catalog module and let's select this image here. Once we have it selected, let's go back into the presets. And in the presets module, let's click on tan skin. Now it does a very good job on the skin. However, it actually adjusts the entire image. There is lots of yellow on the image. And when you have a look at the before and after, you can see how it changes everything else. And if it's fine for you, if you like the look, that's okay. However, many times you will really want to just work on the body itself and on a skin, and you will don't want to adjust the rest of the image. So to do that, we need to use masking. So let's go into the edit module and in the edit module once again let's make sure that we are in an edits tab. Here just like earlier we have the color where we have changed and play around with the HSL panel. We have the develop tool where we have added some warmth and then we have the toning where we have play around with the toning for shadows and highlight. So let's start with the color that's our HSL panel. Once again, let's quickly have a look at the before and after. And you can easily see when you look at this area of the image, how it's affecting also that part. And we don't want that. We just want to work on the body itself. So for this, let's click on masking. And we have a two options here. You can just use the brush and basically brush in wherever you want this effect to be. Or there is even easier option. And that's just to use the mask AI option, the fourth one. So let's click on it. And the system and the AI will scan the image and it will give us an option of what we can select here. So you can see we have the human, we have sky, architecture, water, man-made ground. Now what we're focusing is the human. We want to select the lady. So let's click on human and it takes a moment and it will make the selection of the human. Once it's done, it will also show us the red overlay and we can see that it did pretty good job. Maybe there is a little bit here we need to adjust but it's very decent. It will be much easier to adjust it now than going through it with a brush. So let's go back on our color and masking. Let's go back and let's select the brush. Now let's make our mask visible. And what we want to do, we want to remove part of the mask. So for this, we want to click on erase, adjust our brush. Maybe we just want it a little bit smaller and very simply just brush over the areas you want to remove. So that was this part. It doesn't have to be 100% right as the main area that got affected were above. However, just to make sure we have a nice clean selection. So something like this. Once we finish, we can switch off the mask. And again, we can have a look at the before and after. And you can see how we now working only on the model. So that's the masking done for the color tool. Now we need to do the same for the develop tool and a toning tool. And luckily for us, we now don't have to do it all over again. All we need to do is to go back and then here open the mask actions. In the mask actions, click on copy. So we're going to copy the mask and then we're going to move into the develop tool. Open it, click on masking and now head straight into the mask actions and click on paste. So once again, it takes the mask from the color we created earlier and applied to the develop tool. Let's have a look at the mask. Let's make it visible by going into the mask action and click on show. And you can see the mask is here. Once again, just to make sure, let's click on copy, close the develop tool and go into the toning. And similarly here, we just want to click on masking and then click on mask actions. And once again, here, just click on paste. So that way it's all just mask out each of the tools and our effect is applied only to the model. We can go back to the tools and now look at the before and after. So this is how you enhance and add tan to the skin tones with the use of color tool, mood tool and develop tool. And also this is how you can mask it to make sure that you're only working on a skin and on the body. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, 
There is nothing easier than heading to our website clubofotographer.com slash luminargive. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment, and share on this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.